Hello, I'd just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Well, hello there. My name's Glenn Samuel and thank you for watching Sniper Photography. Uh, so good to have you all back here today. Now, today I want to talk to you about a subject which I have spoken to a lot of people before. And that subject is how to improve your photography. Now, I originally... Um, put a video out there pertaining to how to improve your photography with printing your images, because not many people print photographs anymore, which I think is a crying shame. But as I said, if you want to improve your photography, have the mindset that each time you go out, you get everything right, because you're going to print out at least one to two images from every outing you have with your camera. But there's another way of how you can improve your photography greatly. And it requires no new cameras, no new lenses, no new filters, no new tripods, camera bags, nothing. You can do this with the current camera equipment you own. So don't go out there and buy new cameras and lenses because you think that'll help you with your photography. It won't improve your photography. And in actual fact, it'll probably slow you down. So with the equipment that you have, there is another way that you can improve your photography. Now, recently, over the last six months, I should say, on my website and social media um, posts, I've had a few comments from um, the public, people. And it took a couple of, probably a couple of weeks for me to uh, look at these comments. And I quickly realised um, through the comments that these people, uh, not all of them, but uh, quite a lot of them, were people that were unable to travel. Um, they were incapacitated in some way, either through illness or injury or disease, such as cancer. Um, they could be in a wheelchair. Uh, they could be obese, unfortunately, and they can't walk where us landscape photographers go. But the comments that I receive for a lot of these images are really, really outstanding. And it, and, and it took me back a bit because you don't really think who's looking at the images that you're taking and posting for everyone to see. You don't, you just think everyone's the same. Well, unfortunately, not everyone's the same. And this is a way of improving your photography, just like it is when you print your images, you have that mindset when you go out. Now, one comment that I received from a lovely lady, she said, oh, thank you for this lovely tour of the Blue Mountains. I did that without even my feet or legs aching or hurting. And it turns out that this lady is um, in a wheelchair. So knowing that I'd brought some happiness to one person, it means a lot to me and it should mean a lot to you if you concentrate on about on what I'm about to say to you. So next time you go out with your camera out into the landscape, think about the people who are going to look at your images. Think about the people that can't be here that can't be walking across a cold beach in the middle of winter to get to a headley and to get that sunrise. They can't be with me in the mountains when I'm trekking through dodging snakes and water holes and, and everything else that gets thrown at us here in the mountains, including the weather. These people can't do this because they've either got cancer, they're bedridden, they can't get out of bed. Um, they could be in the last months of their life, but they do have access to the internet which is probably their only form of enjoyment. But if us as photographers can bring enjoyment to these people, these people that just can't be where we go, because we're lucky where we can go, you know, don't take it for granted. So if you're going out tomorrow with your camera to the beach somewhere or out into the bush to take some photographs, feel very privileged, but you have an, a responsibility to capture that image perfectly, okay? So if you go out with the mindset thinking, right, I've got to get this right, because there could be people, as I said, that can't be standing next to me or they can't come to these locations through various reasons of such being incapacitated like this, uh, this lady was. And I've had other comments as well, very similar, that when someone says, oh, your photographs bring a smile to my face, I just wish I could go there, but I'm unfortunately I can't through illness. It makes you feel very proud as a photographer. I know it makes me very proud and it'll probably make you proud too if you adopted this attitude. So when you go out with your camera, 
Think about the people that are going to view your images. Think about everyone, not just the able body people. Think about the people that just can't be next to you. The idea with photography is to make the viewer feel like that they're standing right next to you when you push that shutter button. That is when your photography and your image works. Okay, it's got nothing to do with the editing. It's got nothing to do with what equipment you used. You have to convey that feeling to the viewer. And if that viewer is unable to, to walk or even talk um, or even move around through, as I said, various illnesses or um, disabilities, at least you can put a smile on that person's face for at least a couple of minutes. You know, and I think as a, as a landscape photographer, we have responsibility to do so. So I just thought I'd put that up there. Go out with that mindset that maybe there are people that are going to look at my images in the next few days that I'm taking in this beautiful wide land of ours that are unable to come here, that are unable to travel. Um, you know, they might be scared of driving. So there's people out there that can't get to where we go as landscape photographers, and we have a responsibility, as I said, to make sure that those images put a smile on their face and it makes them feel like that they're standing right next to us when we push that shutter button. Tell me what you think about this. Put your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I think it's a very important thing. I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, each time I go out with my camera, especially now, I'm obviously thinking about these people. So until next time, my name's Lynn Samuel. Thank you for watching Sniper Photography. And as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep shooting. Bye for now.